<laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Professor Glenmo here again. <laughs> in today's segment on innovations in technology, we'll be exploring the fascinating world of polysilicon manufacturing, a key component of solar panels and electronics. Everything starts with sand, specifically quartz sand, which is rich in silicon, uh, the second most abundant element on the Earth's crust. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Whoa. Anyway, so how do we go from just common sand to high purity polysilicon? Well, Let's dive in. First, the sand undergoes a purification process to extract pure silicon. Now, this involves heating it with carbon in a furnace, temperatures above 2000 degrees Celsius. Oh my gosh. Uh, in this reaction, we get silicon and carbon monoxide, but this silicon is not pure enough for electronic applications. Uh, the next is converting this metallurgical grade silicon into a gas like silane or trichlorosilane. Uh, this is done through a chemical reaction involving hydrogen chloride. Now we're getting closer to our goal. The gaseous compounds are then distilled to increase purity. The final and most critical step in the deposition process. The purified gas is decomposed at high temperatures and the result is ultra pure polysilicon. Whoa, uh, this polysilicon is then broken down into chunks and can be used in the manufacturing of things like solar cells, which I love, and electronics, which I love too. Ha. And there you have it. So from simple sand to the sophisticated material polysilicon is a testament to human ingenuity and the cornerstone of our sustainable future. It's amazing stuff. So with polysilicon being a key material in solar panels, its efficient production is crucial to our move towards renewable energy. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for more into this technology shaping our world. And I've got another great little recording coming up for you guys. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> until next time, see you boys and girls. I'm out.